welcome to the mathematics and a new video linear functions with coefficients in arithmetic progression and yeah before we discuss what is this problem um, I want to recall what is a um, sequence in arithmetic arithmetic progression uh, um, if you have a sequence a of i and the sequence is in arithmetic progression if the difference of two consecutive terms in the sequence have a constant um, value. Yeah, so, in other words, if we have sequence a1, a2, a3, a4, uh, we get the next element by adding a constant d. Yeah, so a2 is a1 plus d, a3 is a2 plus d, and so on and so forth, okay? And what we want to consider? We want to consider linear functions ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b, c are in arithmetic progression. Yeah, so also here we get b via a plus d and c via b plus d. Okay? And the question is, which property do all linear functions share in common? Yeah. If you start with some examples and you make a picture of this, you will so you draw maybe a couple of pictures, maybe this one maybe this one and maybe this one then you will see it seems like they have the common point one minus two so the picture tells us that the point one minus two is on every linear function where the coefficients are in arithmetic arithmetic progression yeah and yeah so a picture is not a proof but now we have an idea how to prove it so we will see so First of all, yeah, because A, B, C are an arithmetic pro in progression, we can write A, X plus A plus D, Y plus A plus 2, D. And if we plug in x1 and y minus 2 we get a times 1 is a plus yeah we do it carefully minus 2 plus a plus 2d yeah we see we have a and a is 2a minus 2a is 0 0 a minus 2d plus 2d is 0d so indeed we have 0 so 1 and minus 2 is the common point of all the families of linear functions where the coefficients have this property very beautiful isn't it it's not so <coughs> um, obvious uh, why minus 2 and 1 shows up here why is it not for example minus 1 and 1 what why is here the, the minus 2 and uh, um, um, a way to think of that is we write our sequence a little bit different so we take um, Mm. 
by and therefore we have b minus dx b minus dx plus by plus b plus d equals zero okay and now we um, now we separate these terms uh, so we collect all the b's and all the d's so here we have bx plus y plus 1 and all the d's so we get b mm, 1 minus x equals 0 uh, and therefore we see if we take x 1 and this part becomes 0 and if we go here 1 and 1 is 2 so with y minus 2 we get also this part equal to 0 and this explains a little bit more why the minus 2 shows up here here this was a guess by a picture but I guess this calculation explains a little bit more why this minus 2 appears here and the last way I want to show is um, after the exploration um, that there might be a common point so we take two linear functions so different but from the same family and then we show that they share this common point and therefore let's take ax plus a plus d y plus a plus 2d equals 0 and a prime x plus a prime plus d prime y plus a prime plus 2 d prime equals 0. So we multiply the first equation with a prime and the second with a and then we subtract them so we get 0x. Here we have y we have a prime a minus a prime a and a so this cancels out and so we are left with a prime d minus a d prime and here like the same a times a prime and minus a prime a this cancels out and here we are left with 2 a prime d minus a d prime minus a d prime equals zero and now we can see if we bring that to the other side we have y a prime d minus a d prime equals minus two times this expression which is the same like that so if we divide by that we get y equals minus 2 and now with this y we can go in yeah one of those equations and we see that this results in so for example if we plug this in in 1 we get x 1 yeah, this is a very nice property in my opinion. Hope you liked it. See you next time and bye bye.